baseball's the backdrop here, but it's a documentary about a man, really, I think, and that's what I, I found really enjoyable about it. I think it's extremely relatable, and you get to see a man who was fiercely independent. We started about three years ago, and uh, I came across a team photo, uh, and I just knew right away. It was kind of one of those eureka moments that I think filmmakers have when they just, they don't know the entire story, but they know there's something here that I just got to figure out what this is. I always knew what my dad had gone through to do it and what he faced, you know, and it was pretty extraordinary. So it was really fun to see them want to do it and, and actually pick up the ball and do it. We kind of went up to Portland and knocked on a lot of doors and begged for footage, and um, you know, most news stations aren't thrilled about giving their footage away, and we got incredibly lucky that um, a lot of those people in those television stations remembered the Mavericks very fondly and, and were happy to be a part of it. I think he like believed in you in the point to where you just always believed in yourself, and I think that uh, there, was a, there, was, there, there was just a huge influence that he had in our lives. My favorite baseball story is when I was 10 years old and I was playing Little League. My grandfather Bing had bought me a brand new first baseman's mitt. He was sitting on the sidelines and I forgot my first baseman's mitt at home, and I could hear him in my ear kind of Chat, where's your first baseman's mitt? Where's your first baseman's mitt? And I was trying to block him out and just trying to focus on the game. And as the game went on, it was kind of getting worse and worse. And he was really riding me pretty well. And um, about in the fifth inning, uh, I was playing first base. The ball was thrown to me, and I scooped it up, and I dropped it. And I dropped the ball. And Bing just went bananas on me because I left my first baseman's mitt at home. And the umpire came over and threw him out of the game. And it was this huge, big thing. I was like, I don't know how many grandfathers get thrown out of their 10-year-old's grandson's little league game. But for me, it was just another day at the ballpark with my grandpa, so... <laughs> it's interesting. Baseball, when you play baseball, seriously, you need to pace yourself. You need to work in the offseason. You deal with a lot of failure. I suppose, as an actor, that's probably uh, something that's valuable to you because of the amount of rejection you, you receive. Uh, <laughs> sometimes even after you get the job, so... <laughs> It's, a, it's an experience seeing being kind of come to life again like that, you know, and I kind of thought that that would happen, and so I think that it's kind of special to kind of hold that moment in a, in, in, at the Sundance Film Festival. For me, this is a pretty interesting night. Um, my dad died 12 years ago, and that's the first time I've seen him talk since then. <laughs> He's just a great man. And uh, probably... <laughs> <laughs>